Hi, I'm Ryan Carter and I'm here at David Pico Square, which is the festival hub for the 2011 Luminato Festival. Now, Luminato has been here in the city for five years, but this is the first time that I've been able to attend. So I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite events from the program, as well as some tips on how you can get around the festival easily. There are some awesome events and installations that I'm really excited about seeing. And the first one is called Habit. And it's this scripted Big Brother style installation from German artist David Levine. Essentially what it is is three actors performing a loop of dialogue in a constructed house that is also streamed on the Luminato website at the same time. It's located at OCAD University on McCall Street and runs from 11 till 7 on June 10 and 11, as well as June 13 to 19. And the best part about it is it's free. Now if you haven't heard of British director Tim Supple, you will during this year's festival as his epic production 1001 Nights takes to the stage. The production unearths the truth about the historical tales in two parts and is performed in English, Arabic and French and it definitely is a highlight of the festival and certainly a mesmerising experience. The show runs from June 7 to 19 and is at the Canadian Opera Company on Front Street. Of course, there are a whole bunch of other events taking place all over the city, as well as here in David Pico Square, including They Might Be Giants family concert on Saturday, June 11, and of course, Canadian legend Katie Lang's free concert on Friday, June 17 at 8 p.m. Also, make sure you head down to John Street on the closing weekend of the festival, June 18 and 19, for the President's Choice 1000 Tastes of Toronto, where the city's best chefs get together, take over the street, and prepare their best culinary creations. Getting around the festival really couldn't be any easier. In addition to having 10 days worth of free concerts, the Festival Hub is your one-stop shop for entertainment, information, activities and experiences from festival partners, and most importantly, tickets to events. The Mill Street Pub and Grill is also here on site so you can get food and drinks during shows or throughout the entire festival. The Luminato box office is located on King Street just next to Roy Thompson Hall and is open from 12 till 8 every single day of the festival. Of course, you can always go online to buy tickets by visiting luminato.com forward slash tickets. Speaking of the interweb, you can follow Luminato on Twitter at Luminato or Facebook by searching Luminato Festival. In addition, the Luminato 2011 app is now available for iPhone, Blackberry, Android and other smartphones and it's really cool because you can build your own itineraries and also map out event locations throughout the city. You can head to the App Store for your particular device or luminato.com forward slash mobile for more information. There's also the festival program, which is available at the info kiosk here at the hub, as well as a bunch of other locations throughout the city. It has a full listing of all events with reviews, dates, times, and ticket prices. So that's my preview for Luminato 2011. Make sure you head over to luminato.com for festival info, and I will see you out and about June 10 to 19.